Well, we did manage to catch a day off yesterday, but that is set to change today. Active weather already firing up over western Kentucky. Now it showers. And so far, at least within the viewing area, we aren't seeing any, but they're wet in Paducah and those showers have made a little farther eastward progress uh, creeping along the parkway there just to the west of Bowling Green. Some showers showing up and if we expand it and put it into motion, you can see those showers on the move. So some of those will likely make it in here by mid to late morning, but I think the real action gets going later on today. And this is a potent wave of low pressure throwing a winter storm, a blizzard. Uh, across uh, parts of the upper Midwest and extends all the way down into uh, New Mexico as far as the winter weather. Look at that, North Texas seeing more snow. Uh, they've got blizzard warnings out in that kind of yellowish color and then winter storm warnings and then winter weather advisories. So that's where the core of the winter weather is off to our northwest following the uh, northeastern track of that surface low. Uh, there's a cold front south. The better chance for severe storms is going to be across the deep south today. So. We're kind of missing both of those, which is great, but we've got our own issues to contend with here as we kind of get gap between the, uh, the uh, winter weather and the severe weather south. We have a flash flood watch in effect because we are just soggy and you know, it's no surprise there with all the rain that we've had this year. It's our wettest year ever. And uh, you can see the warning or the watch, I should say, for that flooding runs all the way from Virginia down through North Georgia down toward the Gulf Coast, so that's to the southeast of that low track. Uh, that's where the severe weather threat is, a slight risk across Louisiana and Mississippi today. So what we're in for is a whole lot of rain and a whole lot of wind. So there's going to be two factors that could be a potential hazard for you today. There are the mid to late morning showers. This is the more robust round of showers, maybe some rumbles of thunder. Don't anticipate severe weather, but you may hear some thunder. We'll definitely have just generally gusty wind and the potential for locally heavy rain. And then those showers will persist overnight before finally tapering off Friday morning into the afternoon. They should be out of here after that cold front tracks east. But we've had our wettest year on record with 70 inches of rain in Lexington. Frankfurt and Jackson have both had their wettest years on record, and we could possibly see another half inch to upwards of an inch to an inch and a half of rain. Some of the heaviest may be in our southeastern counties. So that's where that flood watch, that flash flood watch is in effect. And uh, temperatures are in the 40s. We also have a wind advisory in effect though as well, because look at this. Wind gusts today could hit the 35 to 45 mile per hour range. There may even be some isolated near 50 mile per hour gusts. So between that and the possibility of heavy rain, if you are driving today, especially watch out. And since the soil is saturated, there won't be anywhere for that rain to go. So the runoff could lead to some localized uh, flash flooding issues again into our southeastern counties, especially that'll continue into this evening and overnight. Everything simmers down the remainder of the weekend. Friday, the shower, the isolated thunder shower threats mainly going to be in the morning into the afternoon. I think that'll back off. So Saturday, we're partly sunny in the 40s. So we could conceivably go from the 60s tomorrow to the 40s. That's that cold front. But at least it's dry. So Saturday and Sunday looking fairly tranquil. And wouldn't you know it, the last day of the year, New Year's Eve, we have yet another chance for rain, just mild enough to keep it a cold rain and then taper it off to showers for New Year's Day. Stay with us. Sunrise will be right back.